Okay, so this video is specifically for those agents out there looking to possibly join Aflac to sell insurance and wants a little bit of advice or perspective before they decide and pull the trigger on joining. My name is David DuFord, owner of DuFord Insurance Group, where I train and recruit agents nationally to sell things like final expense, Medicare, and annuities, both face-to-face -face and over the phone. And what I'm going to do in this video is give you a fair and balanced review or perspective as somebody who's been in the business since 2011 as a producing agent and since 2013 as a recruiting agency builder on what you should be thinking about if you are looking at a career joining uh, AFLAC. So a couple of bullet points down here I want to run along with you. So first of all, if you're new to the business, here's the thing that you will discover very quickly. You really don't know anything and you don't know what you don't know. And the insurance business is kind of strange. It's not like most other business models. Maybe you've seen all these hypey ads on Craigslist or you know job boards, or maybe you've been pursued on social media. There's a weird different vibe in the insurance business versus others. So this is kind of where I'm going with this particular talk here is just keep you aware of some, some factors related in that kind of vein. So the first thing is when you come into a business working with Aflac or really any agency, you need to ask yourself, what is the experience of the person who's recruiting you? You see, there is a, a, a permeation or a, a huge emphasis on the multi-level marketing culture side of things in the insurance sales business. Now, some organizations more than other, uh, I can't account to how much or little the AFLAC side of things is, but recruiting is big. So much so that many organizations push recruiting over actually teaching you how to sell. So they'd rather you build deep downlines where people will write a throw off deal here and there and they're very deep and the people at the top of the business model make the most money just like a multi-level marketing business operates. The problem with that system is that it's a race to the bottom. If you come on board, you have no experience selling insurance and the person bringing you on board typically is responsible for also training and supporting you. How much support can you get when they don't know what they're doing either? You see, that's the problem whenever you look at an insurance agency is that they're not all created equal. You've got to dig a little bit deeper through the surface and see if the person recruiting you actually knows experientially about how to operate in this business. Again, what would I look for if I were in your shoes? I want to work with a seasoned pro, somebody who knows how to sell and thus has something worth teaching me. So that's a big thing to me. Number two, uh, what's the culture of the regional agency? This kind of builds on my first point. Um, you can't think of AFLAC as a sales model as one thing. I mean, it is, but most organizations have sub-agencies, which also have sub-agencies. And what you'll find is there's a unique, distinct culture in the regional agencies or the sub-agencies that really give you the biggest impression or biggest impact on your day-to-day -day life as a career. So, and this is really true of all businesses. You have the top with the corporate uh, people speak. Then you've got the people who are actually in the thick of it, neck deep and the problems and you know, running the business, et cetera. And the culture is going to be actually different on the, on the ground, right? So it's the same thing working in insurance sales. So it goes back to my original point is see what it's like actually at the agency. Try to talk to other agents who work for that AFLEC agency. Approach them on LinkedIn, Facebook, ask them some questions. So what do you like about your job? How's it going for you? What do you think about it? Um, what the pros and cons are, and, and read between the lines and their responses. How they respond to you is going to give you a really good idea. Is the culture something that I can fit in with well? Does it feel like it's a good fit? Uh, do they seem to like their job? Do they, do they not even answer me? And sh that should be a little bit concerning. So start to take notes on this. Again, why do we go through this extent? Because AFLAC, like a lot of organizations, are a straight commission type of opportunity. You need to be very careful with whom you decide to join and culture is a big part of success in any kind of sales environment. I would also ask to do a ride along, not always accessible, but a ride along is where you go with a field agent and see what it's like to sell this stuff. Again, this will help you answer if this business is even right for you. You might not even be sure if insurance sales is right for you. And seeing it in person is gonna make a big impact. Is, is sales a good thing for me? Is insurance sales a good thing for me? And is how Aflax approach it a good thing for me? So ask about a ride along, see what they say. It doesn't hurt to ask. Uh, number two, again, decide for yourself, kind of back to the original point, do you want to train or do you want to recruit? Okay, now I'm on the, the you got to learn how to sell this stuff side of the table. I think you need to spend time doing that before you even consider recruiting. Not everybody's going to agree with me, that's fine. But you don't want to join an organization where you don't have an alignment there. If you're an MLM guy, you want to run an MLM operation, 
Find an MLM insurance agency that fits your values. But if you're a producing type of agent, you want to learn how to sell insurance and you know that there's training and that has to be involved and it's really important to be successful and you get the vibes that recruiting is more important, there's a misalignment there and that's going to manifest into bigger and bigger problems. So avoid that if at all possible. And then last thing here, less of a problem per se with AFLAC, but more with the independent agencies is you really need to spend time asking about things like releases, vestings, and non-competes. So let me real quickly describe what this is about so you can better get an idea. So first of all, releases. Releases are where you decide to work with another agency, but you like the insurance carrier we're working with. Well, the dirty little secret in this business is these agencies don't have to let you move the carrier over to the new agency if they don't want to. So you always want to ask your agency, do you release? Because if they release and they don't live up to their promises, well, you don't get locked out of that carrier for six months. That's typically the standard in this business. So uh, if they release, that's a good sign that they're serious about the training you. They stand by their promises. People in agencies who don't release typically can't say it's always this case, but I just have skepticism about it. If, if they stand by their promises, why would they want to hold an agent hostage if it's not a good deal for them? So immediately, as personally me thinking as an agent would, I don't like working with agencies that don't release because there's a catch to it and I don't like catches. Vesting also is something you should be worried about. That's how or who you own your business, um, who owns your business, the income streams from it. A lot of the insurance products you'll sell will have renewals and do you keep them? Do you lose them if you leave AFLAC or any organization? So ask about vesting. Ideally, you keep your clients. You don't have a non-compete. You continue to get paid. So ask your upline that's going to bring you on or the manager that's going to bring you on how contractually that works. And then the last point there that's important too is non-compete. It's probably going to have a non-compete most organizations do for a year or two, uh, but it's worth uh, asking about. And that's kind of out of those three issues, that's probably the most reasonable one to have. So bottom line, take these steps to see if the AFLAC opportunity is right for you. It could be, and if it is and everything fits, do it. But if it's not, look, the insurance business, if there's one thing that's true, has endless amounts of opportunity. There's more opportunity in this business than people realize. Uh, I look at opportunity all the time. I've been in this business since 2011. It's incredible what you can do as an agent in this business if you just find the right agency. It's worth spending the time to find it. Don't jump in with both feet until you really feel good that everything that's important to you fits what you're looking to do and is a good match. Because if you don't, the biggest reason why people fail this business, according to some research I've done, is because agents find the wrong agency and what they're promised wasn't delivered. Don't be a statistic. My name is David Duford, owner of Duford Insurance Group. If you'd like to check out how my agency works, click the links above and below. If you have a comment, uh, feel free to leave it as well. Subscribe if you haven't. And thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you around. Bye.